on, my fishy friends? How's everybody doing? Um, I wanted to first off apologize that I haven't been uh, releasing any videos lately. Um, my phone is stuck on 72%, and I never know if uh, the battery is going to run out or not. Um, I can't tell if it's lower or fully charged. But uh, I wanted to say hello, thank everybody as usual, show you what reels we have in stock, and uh, run over a couple new products with y'all. Um, I, uh, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Um, I had the, uh, the coronavirus a couple weeks ago, and um, knock on wood, and thank God it was uh, pretty much nothing for me. I was pretty asymptomatic. Um, I had to quarantine for 10 days, and uh, I had a kind of like a dry mouth, and um, you know my body felt like I couldn't get to the right temperature, like I was either too hot or too cold. It wasn't quite cold chills where you're a sweaty hot mess but um yeah uh so i had to deal with that so i was on lockdown and you know built a bunch of rods and did some cool stuff um so i wanted to show you guys uh one of the new design hoodies we just got done with this is our michigan steel header hoodie so it's got the the michigan artwork from the back of the reels um that's Trevor Hawkins artwork. And then on the back, we have the CPR logo, the Colville Precision Reels logo down at the bottom left corner. Really a classy shirt. Really nice blank. It's on the independent blanks. So real high quality. It's got the camo sleeves, camo hood. Real gorgeous. Hey, what's up, Mark? How you doing, buddy? Um, so, uh, yeah, as I go through this here, I'll kind of show you the front and back of the ones that are available. Um, we have some great new pinlins available. Um, I have a couple pinlin rods also. Um, we're still waiting on that blood run shipment to drop, but I do have uh, a few of the new tar 10 foot pinlins. Um, there, it's a real seat model. Uh, those are two hundred and forty-nine dollars. So I'll show you guys that here in a second. Um, have you guys been out doing any fishing this summer? I got I got out a few times for trout. It was pretty fun. Um, caught some nice ones. One of my one of my PBs. One of the top five trout ever. I caught the other day. It was really nice. But all right, the first reel we have up. This is a. Hey Tim, what's up, Uncle Pat? How you doing, brother? Um, so this is a, uh, a seamstress full hard coat gray with um, silver trim and abalone handles. It's got the Michigan artwork in the back. It's got that really cool pearl abalone inlay. What up, Kenan? How you doing, buddy? Um, I also have a really unique splash reel right here. So this is uh, a three-color splash when I was doing... Um, my friend's reel from Black Tip Floats, he wanted a purple and red splash, and I had a really hard time achieving it. So I ended up getting a few reels done, and he could pick from kind of the best ones. So this is one that's really unique. You'll never see it again like this color. It's got the Trevor Hawkins 3 fish on the back. It's got the custom reel seat and knob anodized as well. I also have a Delta 1000. So this is a 565 Delta. It's got the Oregon candy apple green with the EDM grape stomp back. Really super classy. Super cool looking. I don't know if classy is the right word for that. I think it's classy. It's got the small porting on it. I think more of you guys would think this is more classy. This is, uh, this is a seamstress. It's a full hard coat. It's a black hard coat, which we also sometimes call charcoal this is a blue hard coat back plate it's got the chola cactus handles on it the trevor hawkins artwork also if you guys ever see this discoloration around the clicker that's from when we put it all together some of the grease or oil kind of leaches out and you could just clean that with a uh, washcloth and some rubbing alcohol um it won't hurt the laser or the finish at all and rubbing alcohol is pretty a pretty great all-around cleaner from my experience as long as you're not putting it on any sort of varnish or epoxy or anything like that um, I also have here a Hydra 565 that's got the Usenil Santos worm eater artwork so these are awesome reels for Michigan 
awesome reels for the west coast really great all around size I got another Hydra right here. This is bronze and gunmetal. It's got the bow branches on the back. What up, Timmy? How you doing, buddy? Oh, you already checked in, Tim. Sorry, I didn't see it. All right, so I have a Delta right here. This one is all gunmetal. This is our fully ported model. It's one of our lightest models we have. So you can see it's a really pretty reel. Um, if there's any Buffalo Bills lovers out there, we got a Buffalo Bills, uh, Buffalo Bills Delta right there. Um, I do have, this is a full hard coat Hydra with the Seamstress logo, hard coat gray and red velvet. I have one dream catcher available in a burnt tangerine. And this has a Michigan artwork on the back. Um, I have some 6-inch available. We just got done. I, I got some 6-inch reels over here all polished up, ready to go to the platers. So if you want a 6-inch reel, one of the 5.95-inch, we have the Sequoias, and we have the Tamaracks and the Dropbacks, um, all the really good ones. So if you do want one of those, maybe custom anodized or something, just hit me up, and I'll get you, get you set up with whatever you can dream up. All right, now where were we? So yeah, I got some six inch ones up here. I do have a seamstress right here, all hard coat. It's, um, it's got the seamstress on the back, hard coat blue and hard coat gray. I have a pretty unique one right here. This one is a Delta 1000 and it has a black spool with a winter camo splash on it really pretty real I do want to pull this other one out because it is so unique okay I have a tamarack this is a uh, rogue red tamarack on the spool and then on the back plate it's a lava acid wash splashed in black so that's a really good looking reel very unique I'm always Im so impressed with we never really have a matching reel ever unless it's a black on black or blue on blue with silver accents. And then the, uh, the artwork on the back is usually different. All right. Let's see what else we got. All right. So I do have, if you guys know of anyone who is just getting into it, um, or wants like a cheaper beater reel. I do have some silver series reels So these are the silver series It's got some new artwork on the back, but they're they're all matte finished. They have that new hub system where the bearings are Pressed into a hub that's separate from the reel um, So these are nice reels they retail for about 400 to 450 um, we have a couple blems available for around 350 ish. Uh, they got messed up laser etching. I do have another 565 right here. This is a hard coat gray spool with a red back plate with the Michigan artwork. I have a Fjord 5. This is also known as the bad fish because it looks like the sun on the sublime bad fish cover. This also has the Michigan artwork. I have another Hydra right here. This one is all charcoal, a.k.a. hard coat black. It's got purple hardware for the accents. And then I have abalone handles on it. This one also has the Michigan artwork so this one looks a little washed out so this is one that I would discount a little bit because uh, etching isn't perfect I have another one like that too that I'm doing a discount on this one is a Delta I had it somewhere I would have to dig it up but anyways we have this Delta too this one is a hard coat gray spool red back plate with a 
Trevor Hawkins Sequoia logo on there. It's got the cool inlay and the clicker. All right, and off to the mini pins real quick. We have, uh, this is a Dreamcatcher 5.35. You can see how small these little guys are. Um, we are making a fly reel currently. Um, we're just gonna, trying to figure out the drag situation. Um, Tony wanted to just have a clicker that was on all the time. I'm not the biggest fan of that, um, but he, he he's pretty confident we're going to be able to figure out some sort of drag situation. Um, we're trying to not copy anyone, and it's hard to do stuff that hasn't already been done, but if there's guys that could do it, it's me, Tony, and John. We'll definitely come up with something. Here's a little mini dream catcher. It's bronze and gunmetal. What up, Toby? Um, with uh, the seamstress artwork on the back, I have a couple of couple of mini trinities left that um, I'm selling for about three hundred bucks. So if you know anyone that wants a mini reel and they don't want to drop the the four hundred or four fifty or whatever, they can um, they can get something for three hundred. That's really nice. All made in America. What's up, Chris? So this one is a small dream catcher, 3.95 inches. It has a cracking core handles on it, which have the aluminum webbing in them. And it has the Santos Sequoia art. I have a, and, and just so you know, those two trinities I have left, I have one that's all Pacific Pine. It's like a drab olive color. Um, it's a, the fully ported back plate. I mean, these are awesome reels. Nice weight to them. Um, really great deal on those ones. I'm just, uh, I have all these newer 2020 series ones. So the Silver Series came out in 2020, but um, we're still making the 2020 series reels now for the, uh, the higher end ones. So that's why I'm discounting the the trinities this one is a little mini buffalo bills reel what up t this is a little um shadow drifter smolt these are called because they're they're Small like a small 3.95 inches Concord purple on Concord purple. It's got the Ryan Orndorff tribal trout on the back Here is a really beautiful dream catcher. It's that Oregon candy apple green Kraken and core handles steelhead blue back plate with the Trevor Hawkins three fish on it So we have a few of them in here, guys. So really, if you're interested, just shoot us an email at colvilleoutfitters at gmail.com or you can call the shop, 716-627-7335. And uh, I'll get you hooked up where we can uh, we could chat on the phone and I'll get you something dialed in for whatever you're, wherever you're at, whatever area you live in. This is one that's going to go real soon. This is a Blurple um, Blue and Purple Acid Wash. The silver back plate with the seamstress. I mean, it is just, it is just awesome. And none of these reels look great in the camera or the pictures. Um, they really look tremendous when you get them out of the box and you can turn them in the light to really, to get a great look at them in person. But this one is a orange and gold, which is kind of a really unique color combination we've never done that color combination before this one has some honeycomb handles on it i mean it's like a perfect match i have a really pretty this is a black and silver silver delta 600 and it's got the trevor hawkins three fish on the back it's a banger I'll show you guys this one this is a ghost silver and lemon yellow and it's got the Trevor Hawkins life cycle art on the back really beautiful reel 
They got strong little clickers. They're pretty amazing. Some of my funnest fishing is to do it in the uh, in the summertime right now. Okay, so I also have a this is a dream catcher. It's, it's actually uh, this is our Deschutes blue with the lemon yellow seamstress artwork on the back. Really, just a classy color. It's almost those Michigan colors. And if you want something that is a little bit more standard, um, this is a Shadow Drifter Smalt. Steelhead Blue, I believe. I can't really see through the camera. Yep, Steelhead Blue with a gunmetal backplate with a Trevor Hawkins 3 fish. Pretty rockin'. All right, so, uh, yeah, so I got all these guys. I mean, if you're interested, I could send you pictures one by one um, so you could kind of pick which one you like the best. I do want to show this one off because it's pretty pretty unique. This is just a gunmetal on gunmetal, so everything matches. A handle post, center cap, foot, you name it. It's got the bow branches artwork on the back. Really pretty cool looking reel that... Um, that it uh, looks that nice being all one single color. You can see the startup of these things is just unbelievable. That's got a really cool wagon wheel. All right, now I'm going to get you guys over to some of the rods and stuff like that. Let's go check out what I got in stock. I got a couple little surprises. All right, the new Sim stuff is out, by the way. I don't know if you guys have... Did I get disconnected? Oh, here we go. I'm here. All right, so we got these new packs that uh, you actually buy the belt, and then you build off the belt. You know, you add, like, these... You add these small pods or these uh, large pods, and that kind of gives you whatever size pack you want. So you can, you know, take, you could take them off, put them on, you know, get whatever you desire for a pack size. So really pretty neat. Um, one of the rods we just got in, uh, there's been no Pinland rods available, but we finally just got the tar Pinland rod. This one is a zero is a 10 foot zero to four pound rating. They slim the handle down, which is awesome. They got a new seat on there. So this is a four piece, really light action, really great, really great uh, setup. Um, I do have a few customs here too. Oh. It's telling me to rotate the device. So I have a few customs here. So this one is a all decked out custom handle with bronze accents. It's got a hand turned one of my reel seats on it. So it's got bronze accent and a beautiful tapered reel seat. It's got a little butt wrap. So this one is a 12 foot tar rod. It's the one that we really like for the Erie steelhead or for like bigger inland trout. It's got the nice high frame guides, really pretty wraps on each one of them. It's from one of our new builders, so I basically make the components. I send them off to one of my builders, and they put it together. Here is another one I got. This is a, another 12-foot, um, 3 to 6-pound tar rod. It's got a beautiful custom handle on it. It's got a fade wrap at the base. And again, really nice titanium guides. These have the K-frame titanium guides with the Torzite rings. Really rocking. Super nice stick. And then last but not least, if you guys are looking for a really amazing steelhead rod, I have this beautiful it's the uh, 1563 Rain Shadow with a custom handle. It's got the uh, Atomic Autumn hardware on the reel seat with a tapered uh, stabilized wood reel seat and um, the Oregon Candy Apple Green buck cap. Um, it has a uh, has all real nice guide wraps. It has the um, 
It has the uh, K-frame guides that goes down to the size 8 high frames all the way out to the tip. So this will be really ice-free in the wintertime. Um, but this is a really beautiful rod. I usually never have anything this nice on hand. So uh, if you're interested, kind of first come, first serve. There's three custom rods there um, ready to go um, if, anyone's, if anyone's looking. Uh, we got these new Sims flyweight waiters, which are pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen these yet, but they have that same grid system that they had on the, um, had on the pack. So pretty neat. Yeah, Dylan, me too. I am enjoying the, uh, I am enjoying the trout fishing right now, but I would like to get into some cooler weather here soon. This heat really stinks. And the walleye fishing isn't even that good. But yeah, we got uh, our death row section is all stacked to the brim. Um, trying to think of anything else you guys might have not have seen. Uh, I do have um, I do have a bunch of hoodies and hats and stuff. So if you guys want to spread the wealth and uh, rock out some of our our gear, we'd really appreciate it. And I appreciate all you guys, anyways, just all the support and love. We've been able to stay open and stay busy. Uh, so I have these new walleye shirts. If you guys are into walleye fishing, I'll let you guys check these out. So you can see those. Those are really wicked cool. Um, so that's the back. The front's got the logo. We have that available in olive as well. Um, I do have the Michigan hoodie like I showed you guys. And we have these awesome... Um, camo pants uh, that are like fleece line for wading and it's got the logo on on it and then as far as new things um, I would say probably one of the best things we got that's new are these moon eye lures from Yellai. so he's got some new colors right here that are just wicked walleye baits and also if you're trolling brown trout in big open water or salmon in the spring they'll crush these things he's also has some deeper divers coming as well um but i don't have those yet they're called hooligans um he also makes some really nice lipless crankbaits uh so what else can i show you guys um have you guys seen the new uh nets that we carry they're called fisk net of course um we carry the uh, rs nets right here beautiful net they can custom make whatever color handle you want they're made in the usa super durable they could dip the netting in any color vinyl you want um really awesome uh, probably my favorite big boat net my favorite drift boat net or wet wading net or wading net in general is these fisk nets and they're uh, they're made in washington so they're all usa made uh, carbon fiber lightweight nice sticky handle um, really just a beautiful net top of the line definitely the nicest net i've played with for uh stream fishing you can see here they have a bunch of different sizes that's their boat net so if you got a drift boat i mean absolutely beautiful you could put a salmon in some of these ones so they're nice and big and uh, of course we have uh we got all the chromium line and the blood run line so we're well stocked up on that if you guys need you know try to get your reels spooled or get a spool of that so you're ready to rock and roll for fall and uh yeah that's about it we're you know continually working to try to get you guys some some awesome new stuff we do have um this is our back plate for our new 535 that's coming out so we're taking pre-orders for the 535 and the 495s um, in our more premium series. So they all have a dome back plate. There's some different portings available. Um, we're going to have everything pretty much except like the katana and the um, the katana, the hydra, and the paragon. But we'll have all the other ones, including a new design we have called the honey chrome, which is kind of like a honeycomb pattern. But uh, But yeah, so appreciate everything want to thank you guys for the support i'm going to try to go live later when i'm building some rods just so i could face you guys and kind of say what's up um and uh yeah chris so 
I've had that addicted gear in here and it doesn't seem to move as well here because not everybody kind of knows what that is. Um, you know, most of the guys here, they know of like, you know, the steelhead gear, the H and H outfitters, these guys, but they don't know the, the addicted stuff never seems to go great. You know, I, I've tried, I put some of it in here through H and H outfitters cause they do all the printing, but hasn't gone over really well. Um, before I forget too, guys, we got a really exciting, uh, let me see if I could flip this around here. Yeah, what's up guys? So we got a really cool um, project coming up. We're actually trying to move our building right now and it's gonna be right down the road, um, about a mile down the road. It's um, it, it's gonna be about four times the size of the shop now and we're I'm planning on having like a small lounge area and I'm also planning on having like a membership to the lounge plus a room where you could tie flies and build rods. Um, if you wanted to get away after work and go wrap some rods or use the dryers or whatever, I'm going to kind of load that up with rod wrapping machines and vices and, uh, you know, it'll be a cool place for all the fishermen in the area to kind of get together and shoot the shit and, uh, tie some rods and tie some flies, order a pizza there, have dinner if you just want, um, so I am working on that project, uh, just trying to find, um, the lender that I'm going to be going with, but, um, uh, I'm pretty sure I have every, all the details worked out. So, uh, I'm constantly plugging away at that. Eventually my goal is to have one room there with a camera set up like a green room that I could, um, do all these videos and once a week kind of do a product review and a, a fishing report. And we could talk about, um, what's going on around the country with, uh, steelhead and salmon and trout fishing. Uh, so yeah, so if you so I'm pretty much um I'm pretty much just on the way to uh I'm pretty much just on the way to doing that and um it should be a pretty cool idea. So I hope I hope you guys can come and visit when I get it all completed. Uh I'm gonna need some blueprints done and stuff. And if anybody wants to lend a hand when we get it going, there's some construction work that needs to be done and some blueprints and um some electrical stuff so uh you know anybody that's willing to give a hand i'd really appreciate it and i want to thank you guys for all the love and support i love you guys back really appreciate everything and um i hope to see you guys on the river like i said i'm going to be doing a um a rod building session tonight and i'm planning on doing a live feed in a little bit so uh try to catch me later if not Make sure you stay safe, healthy, and most of all, fishy. I'll catch you guys later.